Hey, it's Ted here. I'm here at the college today. Finished up with my um, outboards class, and I had a question um, from some of the guys online about MEFI engines, the uh, early model fuel injected engines. So I wanted to just, you know, show you how to identify which engines which just by the ECM. So let's take a look. Three ECMs hanging out on the wall, and the first one is the largest of the ECMs which is a MEFI-1 processor. So this processor is basically has your two J connections on it. So if you look on one end, there's J2, and the other end would be J1, all right? And to identify that is not easy because it's gonna look very much similar to a MEFI-2 processor. So a MEFI-2 processor is just a couple of years newer, all right, and it was just the change that uh, GM, the Delco uh, Remy division of General Motors that made these processors. And right away, you can see that they are slightly different. Mephi 1 being the larger, and then over time, of course, it gets smaller. One quick identification here is you can see this blank area on a Mephi 2 processor, which is not there on a Mephi 1 processor. There's one little blank area here. So if I spin this around so that J2 and J2 and J1 and J1 are at the right ends. You can see that this is real quick. If you just look on the engine, you can see this is a MEFI 2 and this is a MEFI 1. It's hard right away because they are almost identical in size. Okay. Now, MEFI 3, MEFI 4 is you can't tell them apart. So, MEFI 3, MEFI 4, no way to really tell them apart when you look in the engine. This is the newer model, well, latest and last mo models of the MEFI 3, MEFI 4 ECMs. And again, these are going to be labeled. So if I get the light right, J2 on the other end, J1. J2 is always at the end that has this bolt hold down for it. It's, it has three fasteners, one here, one here, and one here that hold it onto the engine versus four for these. Now, the only real way for you to identify if it's MEFI 3 or MEFI 4, not off of the identification of it, is to flip it over. If it has a Delphi sticker on the back of it, that is a MEFI 4 processor. If it has a Delco or a non-Delphi sticker on the back, then it's MEFI 3. Delphi was the division that took over for MEFI 4. So that's how you can tell those different ones apart. Now, MEFI 1, MEFI 2. One more thing to really kind of go over when you get to this point. And I'm not 100% positive of this, but I'm just going to put it out there. First generation processors, somewhere in the late 1980s. I remember about 1987 when I went to Mercury School for the 350 Magnum. And it was a MEFI-1 processor. And it was the first introduction to a scan tool. That was the OTC scan tool um, that plugs into the engine with a large connector. And they have cartridges that go into the scan tool. Uh, there's a code tool, which is made by Rinda, that you could plug into that connector and it would blink a light. And that, you could read the codes off of that. MEFI-1 and I believe MEFI-2 are the first generation engines of EFI. Um, marine electronic fuel injection, and they only would give you a single code for a for an actual sensor. So if you had a throttle position sensor failure, you had a map sensor failure, um, a coolant temperature sensor failure, you would only get one code. So for example, code 22. That would be for a TPS sensor failure. If the sensor was open, there would be zero volts. If the sensor was shorted, it would be zero volts. If the uh, signal wire was shorted to the five volt reference, it would be five volts. So either way that the sensor goes out of range, it goes too high or it goes too low in a value, too close to five or too close to zero, you only got one code. Now, when you get to the later processors and we get to MEFI 3, MEFI 4, then the engineers started to design into two separate codes, so code 21, code 22. Code 21, TPS high voltage, code 22, TPS volt, low voltage. Code 33, code 44, code 15, code 14. 
there's two codes, one for high, one for a low voltage. The other thing to remember is the higher the number, the lower the voltage. So code 15 is low voltage, code 14 is high voltage. They do it opposite. Why? Because they're engineers. That's what they can do. The last thing I want to tell you about MEFI 4 is when we got into MEFI 4 and we go over this exclusively in the inboard gas EFI class, okay, is we get to the replacement of the 454. This is an 8 1 intake. And then we get into, and I teach this in the uh, engines class as well we get to the IFM platform. So we remove the Vortec platform and we go to the IFM platform for General Motors. It's still a legacy engine, okay? These two engines are MEFI-4. This is the introduction to MEFI-4. Once you get to there, you really can't tell because the process just stays the same, but now these two engines have cam and crank sensors. The same as the modern engines that are EGC platforms. So let's go. Take a quick look at that. Yes, and here's a Ford drive, and here's one of my IPS rigs that I train in our quarter seven semester. So um, advanced drive systems um, and advanced emission control systems and advanced diesel engines is our quarter seven semester, one of my favorites that I created here. So here is an old MEFI-3. This is a 7.4 MEFI-3. So, Standard distributor engine has a regular um, Delco EST distributor in it. Um, nothing special. First generation or second generation engines has your diagnostic link connector here. Old 10 pin harness, just like Merck and they use. And then we come up to the MEFI 4 versions and I've got a five liter over here. So let me pull this cover off. And I'll show you this. So the five liters right here, and I've got an eight one over there as well. So here's a five liter. So five liter, and I can't, can't tell what it is because it has a MEFI 3 or MEFI 4 ECM on it. But IFM platform engines, MEFI 4, introduction to the composite distributor cap. So there's another way you can tell it's MEFI 4. Here's your cam sensor. And then, of course, the wonderful world of automotive, where these engines come from, and we have our crank sensor down there. So that's the first one, this 8-1. You have your cam sensor in the front, and then on the back of the engine, you have your crank sensor in the back of the engine back here. So um, same thing, original 10-pin harness, as I call it, the round harness plug that goes up to the the dash. These are all non-catalyst engines, but again, here is a MEFI-4 processor, and unless I took that off, um, I would not be able to tell if that says Delphi under there. Just some ins and outs about that, of how the difference is, and we have, uh, I've got a MEFI-1 engine in the other room still, but I've got a bunch of the old MEFI-3s and 4s here in the lab, as you can see behind me. And then, of course, I've also got the EGC platform, the newer ones here that we teach with. So um, our fuels and fuel ignition class covers a multitude of engines. Um, it's not just a six-week class. It's not just a crash introduction class of fuel injection. It's a full gamut of fuel systems and fuel injection and the different designs and then how to do diagnostics on it. When I went to college back in the 80s, um, for marine technology. I'm literally glad I did that instead of just going to a regular tech school and getting a certificate. So here I am today passing on the knowledge after all these years. Um, you have any questions, feel free. Call the college here, 401-739-5000, and you can ask for admissions uh, and ask them about the marine program here. I'll talk to you soon um, and like the video. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and hope to see you in class soon.